hello students we'll discuss with the next right of the seller that is right of stoppage in transit so in the previous classes we were discussing about the rights of lien so yav rite lien annodu work agutte anta so today we'll see the rights of stoppage in transit so this uh, rights in stop uh, rights of stoppage in transit begins when the rights of lien ends so yavaga lien exhibit madakkagalvo aa time alli stoppage in transit to exhibit maadabahudu understood it's just an extension of the rights of lien rights of lien yen idiyo adanna just extension maaduvanta point e right of stoppage in transit okay this right arises when the seller has lost the opportunity of exercising the right of lien so on the right of lien anta avanga rights iddaga if he fails to exercise it initially at that time this right arises that is rights of stoppage in transit so that goods are no more under his physical possession so rights of lien evag exhibit maadabodu antare when the goods are actually with the seller itself he can hold back or retain the goods with him so if he fails to hold back the goods whenever the goods is with him uh, he can stop the goods while it is in transit so transit means movement alli iddaga goods already dispatched kalisirtare a goods exact agi movement alli iddaga rights of stoppage in transit na avanu exhibit maadabodu suppose if um, the buyer becomes insolvent so iga uh, seller will part the goods part the goods means he will start Uh, distributing the possession of the goods to the buyer understood so at that time he can hold back the goods with him uh, i mean hold back the goods while it is in transit itself already on possession na transfer maadibittirtane but buyer ru payment madakkagalla anta gotagidre then he can stop the goods there itself so this right of uh, uh, transit stoppage in the transit does not amount to the rescinding of the contract of sale rescinding is nothing but cancellation so illi cancellation annodu uh, like uh, contract annodu cancellation agalla understood but goods na matra hold back maartar ashte so this right is conferred on the seller by section 50 of the sales of goods act which states that so it uh, it is stated under section 50 it says that subject to the provisions of the act when the buyer of the goods becomes insolvent the unpaid seller who has parted with the possession of the goods has the right of stopping them in the transit so what i said already i know part maadide parted here is nothing but he started distributing the possession of the goods to the buyer understood now if the buyer becomes insolvent so at that time the seller can stop the goods in the transit so he may resume the possession of the goods as long as they are in the course of the transit so a uh, movement al iddaga a uh, goods na movement agodanna stop maadabodu until the payment is made illi uh, contract annodu cancellation agodilla they are not going to cancel the contract over here but they are going to hold back the goods alle stoppage maadi amount repayment maadovargu nu goods na further movement ke bidodilla okay the right of stoppage in transit arises only when the buyer has parted with the possession of the goods and the buyer has become insolvent understood so buyer evag install insolvent aagtano avaga rights of stoppage of transit na exhibit maadabodu this right is available only so long as the goods are in transit they are neither in the possession of the seller nor that of the buyer so ee goods bandittu seller possession allu iralla seller hatra nu iralla buyer gu reach aagirala movement alli irutte nodi goods anta time alli stoppage li, uh, rights na exhibit maadabodu understood so it is it is in this sense that it is said that right of stoppage in transit is an extension of right of lien where the, uh, the point where the lien ends stoppage in transit begins so nanu heldange lien yavaga exhibit madakke failure aagtano selleru avaga stoppage in transit na avanu nodabahudu so i'll stop it here uh, next point i'll discuss in the later class copy down